Ryan here, and I'm here to show you how to properly set up and adjust your VX300 tactical vest. It's quite easy to put on. There are two Velcro panels in the front, one underneath the accessory pouch and one underneath the spare mag pouch. To get it on, you just simply lift up this Velcro panel, undo the two cummerbunds here, and then slip the vest on like so. You can adjust the tightness of the vest by separating these two cummerbunds. You'll notice there's some elastic here that gives you some play to stretch it out. You attach one, attach the other, make sure it's nice and tight. Then you lower the Velcro panel. You can do the same on the other side by lifting up the Velcro panel underneath the two mag pouches. So you take the small cummerbund piece, attach it to the Velcro section here, and then pull that one around, the larger section, and then push the Velcro panel down to secure it. Now this VX300 vest does have a quick release pull cord feature, which you can also use to adjust the vest further. And let me show you how you do that. In the front here is where the uh, quick release pull cord tab is. This can be used in emergency situations to remove the vest quickly or to uh, readjust the vest entirely, which I'll show you here in a second. You can do this Velcro strap, pull this Velcro cover down, and then this is the pull cord tab for the uh, quick release pull cord. You can just, uh, you'll notice that the wire goes up through the shoulder and then it connects in the back which I'll show you here soon. To uh, remove the vest you just take this and you simply pull the cord out. So that releases the vest in a matter of seconds. So you'll notice there's a series of grommeted holes on here on the straps and uh, let me show you how to reassemble it to make sure that you get it just as tight as you'd like it to be. First, locate the back section of the vest and open the rear access port and find the paracord loop. Next, locate a small cummerbund section and with the soft velcro side up, insert it below the internal waist loop. Pull the cummerbund strap through the vest and then feed the paracord loop through the desired grommet. The more grommets you move inward, the tighter the vest's waist section will become. Locate the other small cummerbund and insert it into the vest beneath the other side's internal belt loop. Be sure to feed the paracord loop through the same grommet position as the other side, and then tuck the remaining strap length into the vest. Next, locate the larger cummerbund section, and with the soft velcro side up, insert the cummerbund strap over the internal belt loop that it is securing the smaller cummerbund. Pull the large cummerbund strap through the vest, and then press down on the Velcro section to secure it to the smaller cummerbund piece. Next, thread the paracord loop through the desired grommet to adjust the tightness of the vest. Repeat this process with the other large cummerbund, and be sure to thread the paracord loop through the same grommet as the other side. Now locate the front section of the vest in the quick release pull cord. You will want to reattach the pull cord to the vest by reinserting it back into this Velcro retainer. Place the Velcro pull cord tab into the retainer, cover it, and then feed this strap through the pull tab loop and then Velcro it to the inside of the vest. Now we're going to feed the pull cord through the shoulder strap. Start by undoing the shoulder pad on the right side of the vest and then locate the channel running along the length of the shoulder strap. Begin feeding the pull cord through this channel until it appears on the other end. Next, reattach the shoulder pads. Now flip the front section of the vest over and place the back section of the vest on top. Locate the shoulder strap without the pull cord in it. 
and begin feeding it into the back section of the vest through the rear shoulder section. Make sure that the strap goes into the main body of the vest and then retrieve it through the rear access port. Adjust the tightness of the shoulder straps by feeding the paracord loop through the preferred grommet. Next, take the pull cord and the other shoulder strap and feed them into the rear section of the vest. Pull the cord and the grommeted strap through until they are visible in the rear access port. Feed the paracord loop through the desired grommet on the other shoulder strap. And then secure it into place by threading the quick release pull cord through the loop. Tuck the remaining cord into the vest to store it. And then close the rear access port. Now you want to flip the vest over and lift the velcro panel behind the large storage pouch. Fold the large and small cummer bands over, attach them to the front vest section, and secure them by closing the large velcro panel. Repeat this process on the other side by lifting the velcro panel underneath the spare magazine pouches. Now that I have the grommet adjustments set, I'm going to put the vest back on, same way as before. I can already tell that it fits a lot better than it did before. So now you know how to fully adjust your VX300 vest and utilize the quick release pull system. So I hope you found this video on the VX300 tactical vest helpful. Thanks for watching.